this is Brian Ierson. I'm one of the trainers with the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over how you work with pages and background pages inside of a Visio document. So to start with, I have a blank document, as you can see, and it has one page. Now the pages are going to act very similar to the way that you create worksheets in Excel. So page one, you have an all button, which would show you all of the available pages if your document happened to have many, many pages and you weren't able to display them all easily down in this space. You have a plus button that will allow you to add new pages. So I'm gonna click on the plus and I'm gonna get a new page too. Now I can access my page setup window most easily by simply right clicking on the page in question and choosing page setup from the list of options. If you ever wanted to use the ribbon to access the page setup window, you can do that from the design tab. You can click the dialog launcher right there on the page setup group, the background group, or the layout group. Any of these will take you into the page setup window. Now I'm going to go back to my home tab for the moment and to access this page setup window I'm going to right click and choose page setup. Notice that this page setup window has several tabs and depending on where you are launching this window from, the appropriate tab will be the active one. In this case, since it's page properties that I am interested in, this is the tab that I'm going to get. You can look at print setup, page sizing, drawing scales, routing and or I should say layout and routing, as well as setting up the alt text. Now the alt text is what is going to be required to make your documents ADA compliant. For the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on the page properties. Here you can determine whether this will be a foreground or a background page. You can set a name you can choose which background you would like to apply to the current page and you can even change the measurement system. In this case I'm going to make this a background page. I'm going to change the name of this to branded background and tap OK. So the way that you tell which page you are currently working on the text will be bold and underlined. The way that you can tell whether or not a page is a foreground or a background page is the use of italicized text. Any background pages, the text or name of that sheet will be italicized. Now that I have my background sheet active, I'm going to start adding content. And to do this, I'm going to go to the insert tab where I'm going to insert the logo and then a text block. So we'll start with inserting a picture. So with the logo in place, I can now scale it and position it where I need it to be. So with the image now in place, I'm going to add in a text block. So I'm going to go back to the insert tab I'm going to come back over to the text group in the ribbon and I'm going to locate the text box. You want to pay attention to whether or not the text icon in the button is vertical or horizontal. If you need to change it, use the bottom half of the button and switch the orientation of the text box. Now in this case I'm going to use a horizontal text box and now I will just draw a text box where I want my address block to go and I'm ready to begin typing. Now it will automatically want to center my text in this box so I'm going to go back to the home tab in the ribbon. I'm going to set my 
vertical and horizontal justifications or alignment. I'm going to go ahead and set my font choices to be in line with my branding standards. And begin to type in the required information. Okay, now with that in place, I may want to add in a line just above there to separate the standard information that I want to have on all of my pages from the drawing up above. And to do this, I'm going to come back to my Home tab. I'm going to go to my Tools, and I'm going to click on the Shape drop down here and choose Line. And I will simply draw a line from one side of the page to the other. And then I will format that line, change the color, I'll change the thickness, and then I'll switch back to my pointer tool and I will position the line where I want it. With all this now completed, I'm going to add a new background page. So I'll come down and I will choose to add another page by clicking the plus. I will right click on my new page two and I will go to the page setup I'll switch this to background and I will just use a new name here of base with legend and I will use the branded background as my base for this. Clicking OK you can now see that the background has been put into place in fact, you'll notice that if you try and click on any of these objects, you cannot select or manipulate them. They are protected by being on the other background page. So this alleviates any chance that I could accidentally reposition or modify in any way this content that I need on every single page. Now, as I said, this is going to be a base page with a legend. So now, to create my legend, I'm going to come back to my Insert tab. I'm going to locate the text box button again and draw a text box. Now, I will rotate this, but first things first, let's just build what we need. So once again, I want to go back to my Home tab to set up my formatting choices. So I want to align this to the top of this text box as well as to the left. Choose my brand appropriate font, color, and simply enter the information that I need. With this now in place, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my pointer tool, reselect my shape, and I'm going to rotate this and scale it to fit where I want. I'm going to give this a border and I'll make the color match. So now I have created my base background with a legend. To apply these I'm going to now select my pages. In this case I'm going to right click on page 1 go back into my page setup. I will leave this as the foreground. I will leave the name for the time being as page one and I will associate the desired background to this page. So I would like this one to have the legend. Now I cannot select and modify anything. We'll deal with that later. With our page now branded with the appropriate background. We're going to go ahead and add in another new page. And you'll notice that since we had the settings from before, it actually just continued to carry and apply the same background. If I continue to add another page, and now I would like this to be a blank page, so I'm going to do that by 
right clicking on my new page 3, going into my page setup, and removing the background. And giving this a new name of cover. Clicking OK. And now I have a cover page and I have two pages that are branded. I don't like my cover page not being at the beginning of this, so to rearrange the pages, just as in Excel, I will click on that and I will drag that sheet tab or page tab to the appropriate location and release the mouse button. If we were to add another new page and you wanted to just have the branding without any legend, maybe you want to add some detailed information, contact information, anything of that nature to this page. So we're going to right click on this, page setup. We will change the name to detail page and we will apply the appropriate background of just the branding. Repositioning this page to its proper location. As you can see, we are now very easily able to add in pages with specific and controlled content. If we ever needed to make an edit to these, we will simply go ahead and choose the appropriate background page, select the object in question, and make whatever modifications we need. Coming back to my page 2, you can see whatever changes we made have instantly been reflected on the foreground pages. And that is the beauty of working with your background pages and your foreground pages in Visio. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos as they come out, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do put out videos on a weekly basis. You can also follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and if you'd like, you can also reach us. And if you'd like more information on classes that we provide, please don't hesitate to go ahead and visit us at tcworkshop.com. And I'd like to thank you for your time. Until next time, take care for now.